Hello everybody, my name is Robo Ribe and welcome back to Spirit Fair. So we're kind of pushing Lily's storyline because it's the only active one. Um, we're meeting her at all the shrines we've been to and she's kind of giving us a lowdown of kind of what everybody's situation was. Didn't expect uh, Astrid and Geo to be an older couple. Kind of figured they'd be like my aunt and uncle or something, but I guess at least not everybody is related. Kind of coming to the conclusion that we were an our were a nurse that's just kind of deals with death every day and we're just kind of coming to terms with it i suppose um a little bit better than my everyone's dead theory i guess um still confused on why a tool uh where's gray mist oh that's the one we were just at Okay, well, I guess we would have laid. Wait a minute. She would have showed us where this shrine was, but we found it in the last episode. We climbed to the top again. I think we kind of talked about it. was kind of interesting. We just saw that uh, Summer died of cancer. And I think I talked about how, like, we saw Markiplier. Maybe if you watch him, I'm sure you do. Uh, did that game, The Dragon Cancer? Or that Dragon Cancer, it's called. Um, and so I think we kind of wondered about that being an option which it seems like that's kind of what it came out to be I'm just assuming it was like her being chased by the dragon was like her coming in out of remission with cancer uh which i think it's closer to home than not um but yeah no wild okay made it to the tap so i'll be interested to see what lily kind of lays down here who's next oh Hey, I'm back. Uh, I'm sorry to report there was no cute doctors wandering the halls. So I'm assuming we're like laying in bed and she's talking to us as we as we die. I'm assuming it's what's happening here, right? Look at you. You look so frail. But even on your hospital bed, you're still gorgeous. Well, this whiskey bottle is half empty. Let's just go ahead and say you drank the rest. You remember the phone call you gave me last year? You're taking a sabbatical from work. I had to call the center to learn about it. Yeah, she took a few months off. She got some bad news. What a weird way to learn that your sister isn't doing well. So you called me... Called me two weeks or something after. Maybe two in the morning here. Your voice was shaking. I could hear you breathing heavily. You start talking about the trees around you. In the air. No. Hi, Lily. No, I'm not doing well. I can just talk about the trees in the air. You said it was cold. That it felt like death. Even over here didn't know where here was. It was silent, and then you said you'd be home in a few days. I didn't know what to make of it. Were you sleepwalking? Is that the whole thing just a dream? I was scared. Came back and told mom and me of your diagnosis. And now we're here together. Mom is awake, and I'm awake, and I'm holding your hand. And if you can hear me, I love you so much, sis. You're not alone in the woods anymore. We're here, Stella. You'll never be alone. You've never been alone. Ellen's last voyage. But, um, no. Because, wait. What about Buck? We... Don't want to go there yet. Wait, I want to go. To get a bigger ship. What the hell, Buck? Can we even bring Buck anymore? Because if I go to the ever door, does that mean I'm going to go through it instead of Buck? Plus, we've got like half these shrines to do yet. Yeah, we're not we're not doing that yet. Let's let's see what do we got here. Let's go up here. Let's check out all these islands one last time. We can we can boost it now. Also, wait a minute. If I bring daffodil, is daffodil? Dying too? 
We just died at the same time. I don't know, man. Who have we talked about? We haven't talked about Buck in that yet. So is taking them to the Everdoor like like seeing them out the way, right? You're you're being with them as they die. So is that what happened to Atul? Did he just die unexpectedly? We didn't get to see him. See him off. Everybody else we got to see. That must be what happened, right? Everybody else we got to see off. And our tool is one of the only ones that we just didn't get to see. See die, I guess. So he's just like abruptly. We saw him at a dinner. Sorry, I zoned out there for a minute trying to think about that. Okay, is that what's happening here? Ah, so close. Okay. What's this what, copper? Oh, they're going that way. We've done that island, more or less. Done that one. Let's go to Crow's End. That's one that we know there's somebody on. I think about it. Maybe that's how we end Buck's thing. Instead of getting somebody new. I'm just curious what would have happened if, if we hadn't had Lily, right? Like we know. Oh, you can jump on these guys this whole fucking time. Oh my god. Well, now we gotta go back again. Stay back. You can't stop me. I came here on a mission. I'm gonna throw the cherry bombs down this hole. Why? Because I feel like it. My dad can't stop me. This is the great outdoors. He doesn't know this. Nature always wins. Wow. I just made that. Take that, Dad. I'm my own person. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> okay. How do we get the elevator to go up? Like maybe a switch right there. Yep. Let's wait a minute. Lock. A visitor. Oh, what are you doing here? This place is closed, shut down, abandoned. Nobody comes here. It's like a graveyard. This was my favorite. Or my. This was my factory, Crow's Ending. You don't believe I could own a factory? Well, I did. It wasn't the. It was the biggest mistake of my life. I had employees. I had deals. I had shipping manifests. The whole nine yards, and all of these things a company could have. How did I lose it all, you ask? It wasn't my fault. Those damn Theodores. They came in all innocent. <laughs> Look at this, we're raccoon ink. And then when you're not looking, they take your territory. District by district. They steal your employees. They crush your dreams. And... And they smile at you while they're doing it. Animals. Then your wife leaves you and your kids don't even look you in the eye. Never. I say never own a factory. Shit. Oh no. No, no. Hmm. There is another character. You look lost, young one. I can show you what you've been missing this whole time. Let me come aboard. My teaching start now. Dog whisper, huh? Interesting. 
Well, I mean, we can't we can't go to the upper door now. Huh. Faster! Look into my eyes. This is serious business. You're adorable. You're like a little hound. Huh. Your training with me starts today. I can see it in your eyes. You're feeling overwhelmed with this job. You need guidance, balance, strength, new skills. Somebody to teach you. That someone is me. From this point on, there will be no backsliding. There will be no physical contact either. I need you to full devotion and your cooperation. I will steal your resolve and bolster your courage, but only if you do as I say. I never question my methods. Now listen up, student. You'll be tested and you'll be graded. You will cry. In the end, you will succeed. Right? Enough of this. Let's see what you're made of. Real challenge awaits. On your feet, quickly! <laughs> All right, then. Good. You seem to be in top physical shape. Now the real challenge can start. I've made a few locations on your map. You need to find these challenges and conquer them. I'll be watching you. Analyze your every move. Go now. Play so. <laughs> Elena's. What do you, what do you eat? You're probably a big salad. Thank you for the meal. Gives you harsh feedback. <laughs> Keep your distance. Okay. Oh. Was almost hugged again. <laughs> okay. My bad. Complete the gold dragon in under six minutes. Catch over one third of all deadly. Capture one third of all severe lightning strikes. Interesting. Okay. Are these things marked? Again, I don't think we found the gold dragon yet, right? Silver dragon. Forge dragon. Aluminum dragon. <gasps> what are you? Gold dragon. You've been there the whole time? Was that there? That's new. That wasn't there, right? Dude in. Another challenge. This is an easy one. A little bit of rain and thunder. I won't say this often. You will survive. Probabilities are rather high. Just don't let your guard down. You won't end up like grilled chicken. Remember, use your dash ability in there. You'll need it to move really fast. Heads up. Thunder is here. Okay. Oh. Fuck. I wouldn't put it on a leaderboard or you on a podium, but you got some talent. This should be a good reward for you. I don't have anything else. Scram. Treasure map. Lena's Dom. Wrong button. Wrong button. 3469. Pitch all deadly pulsar rates. Go here. 
closer. Do that. Go the dragon. Let's do this. Are you ready for another challenge? They'll be coming from all directions. Steal your mind. Visualize their patterns. Use your dash and light burst abilities. And act. Oh, what does that do? Oh. Oh, interesting. Known that that's that worked for that before. We used it when we were like more surrounded, I guess. on that one. Okay. Better. I can see you're sweating a bit. Good. The challenge is supposed to be difficult. And you've earned a carrot. Not a little carrot, but a ward. Here it is. The form of a challenge, however. I have nothing more for you to say. Feedback's over. Question map number. Let's go to the dragon. I want the gold. And then we're in our Albert's area. Student, I used to be a teacher. I still am. But then I had a classroom. It was the kind of school that made sure each student passed. This kind of school that teaches that money can't buy, money can buy everything. And even September, it was full of students ready to learn. Each year, however, they failed to impress me. Chatting amongst themselves, passing glances around, closing their ears and their minds to my lessons. Immature little shit. All of them. Much, much slow, Dutch Hound. Do <laughs> it. A new task. This creature is in pain. I will thrash. It will thrash and fight. That will be a decent challenge for you. As long as you don't forget to use your dash ability. Go. We'll be timing you, of course. Six minutes is a lot of time. Oh, nice. Can I have that, please? I don't like the tentacles. I don't like that much. Over here. 
No! Father of God. Wrong way. Okay. A tornado still here? Lots of gold out of this dude, man. At the right? There it is. Good guess. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! That's how you're gonna be, huh? Okay. I've never known him to flip me around before. All right. Maybe uh, six minutes isn't enough time. Dragon. <laughs> Feeling better, aren't we? <laughs> Interesting. You're showing promise. What are you waiting for? Go on now, student. 40, negative 50. Student, I have one memory I particularly cherish. It was one day after a particularly rowdy gym class, they came back to my room. Filming with hormones and desperation. One of my first years on the job. Shaping the minds of the youth, they told me. Anyway, I couldn't control any of them. They wouldn't keep still for a second. I was just shopping or shaping anything that day. I snapped. Started screaming. That was the only thing these monsters could understand. I told them truths that would only reveal themselves later in their lives. And you lose a parent. And you lose your best friend. And you lose your job. You start to really crumble from the inside. After an episode like that, I should have learned a lesson. I didn't. I vowed to focus on talent and excellence. I vowed to never let them let go again. I steeled my resolve. All right, let's uh, go treasure hunt. Actually, let's go to Albert. Let's see. Let's go here. Then we're going to go like up this aisle a little bit. And it'll be fine. Actually, I should probably... Is Grandpa nearby? We should probably go to Grandpa so I can sell stuff. I don't know if I can sell stuff to Albert now I think about it. Fudge. No, it's all right. Sometimes Grandpa's sitting here after we go into a place. But we'll go in, buy the thing, and then go see Grandpa, right? Good. Oh, ho! my friend John has been sent to prison. He was a blacksmith. He was caught forging other people's signatures. Uh, let's see what you did there. Let's see what you did. Good job. Both sides we can't afford. But we can go even quicker now. Nice. Rose gold sheet. We have an X XP potions, which is nice. And a diamond. We have a grandpa. Grandpa's right there. Perfect. Can we sell it? I don't want to sell that.
It was Aaron's shit. Maybe I should have checked this. Got that. Oh no. I don't know how to get more XP potions, which sucks. Like. $80,000 I need? Okay. We just sold crap loads to Grandpa. You can buy the bigger boat. Is it worth it? I don't know. But. The friend who cut his own toe. Oh, yeah, it's a fur toe. Well, the first jokes he told us. Our boat's as big as it's ever gonna get. At least for now. Alright, let's go find this treasure up here. 3469. Right here too. Nice. All right. So we got rose gold things working. You be yelling at me. I'm trying to find your. The dragon close by. Arid ring, huh? I never really felt use useful teaching the gifted ones, nor I take a pleasure in breaking the spirits of the weak ones. Seeing them just struggle, not knowing why the challenges were forced upon them, they did this themselves. They needed to be there in class. They have one task, to listen. They're barely able to do that. I love every second of it, because through hardships, they would learn, learn how to survive, learn how to be better, learn how to stop being burdens and become leaders. Negative 50. 50. So now I'm kind of wondering if maybe Buck is someone that, like, I was gonna help, but then I got sick and died, so I can't see him through the end. Kind of like our tool is just suddenly gone. Maybe I can't see Buck off. That'd have to be my guess. I, I mean, I don't know. Because Buck's things... If we get to the point where Elena's like, hey, we're happy, we might just take ourselves to the door and see what happens. Kind of thinking that might be the deal with Buck right now. Student! Must I do everything for you? You have no prepared lodging for me. Wait this quirky. Quickly. Something sparse. No frills. And I need it post pace. Go now. Good haul, student. You made good on your promise to find these valuables. I know you. These I know these bring back memories. Your ring from a past marriage. These coins from your brother, you say. You need to stop thinking of such things. Your past will always bring you shame. Your past will bring you down. Your heart needs to guide you forward. I need you to do something hard. Perhaps impossible in your current state. I need one of those valuables. Take your time to decide. Then you can give it to me. Once a symbol of promise, now it's just lost. Um, let's give the ring, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, that must have been hard. <laughs> Such a life. It was hard. So tough. You live, you lose. Are you expecting something in return? I'll let you have some time to yourself now, student. Do it. It wasn't a Take walk for the gifted ones either. They had their own challenges. They were just open to the test. They were rewarded handsomely for their dedication. The weak ones, as much as the gifted ones, had a monster tame. The monster was me. I am the enemy they would remember. I am the dragon they would have to slay with hard work and complete dedication, or they would whine and quit. Be out of my sight for forever. Huh. I need quite a bit more. Alrighty. Well, I think we're going to leave that one there. 
man, we are getting close. I think it's possible this next one's our last one. I'm not sure. I said, I'm starting to think I can't take Buck home. And Elena's, I don't know either. So yeah, I, maybe one or two more episodes left. See how this whole thing wraps up. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.